Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. Today we're going to explore the exciting world of AI image generation with MFlux Web UI on Mac. We'll be diving into how to finally install the Flux model locally on your Mac using the Pinocchio app if you're passionate about creating stunning visuals with AI and use a Mac OS computer, this video is definitely for you. So let's get started. Before we begin installing MFlux, it's essential to mention that there's one crucial step you need to complete first, installing the Alama model. Don't worry if you haven't done this before, we've got you covered. We've already created a tutorial on how to install Llama 3.2 locally in just five easy steps, which I'll be linking in the description below. If you've followed along with that tutorial and have successfully installed a Llama, then you're ready to move on to installing MFlux. Let's get started. To begin installing MFlux via Pinocchio, navigate to the Pinocchio homepage at pinocchio.computer and download the Pinocchio app for your Apple Silicon Mac. This step is crucial, so be sure to follow the instructions carefully. Once downloaded, open the Pinocchio app and move it to the Applications folder on your computer. Next, click on the patch file that appears to initiate the installation process. You may encounter a security error message. If so, click Done to proceed. However, you'll need to take additional steps to allow Pinocchio to run on your computer. In the Privacy and Security tab, scroll down and click Open Anyway to grant permission for the application on your computer. After that, click Open Anyway again and signing in as an administrator with your computer's password. This will ensure that the patch is completed successfully. Upon completion, you should see the message Process Completed. At this point, close any open terminals and launch the Pinocchio app from the Applications folder. By following these steps carefully, you'll be able to install MFlux via Pinocchio and begin exploring its features. Now open the Pinocchio app, set your preferred theme color. We'll choose a dark theme for this tutorial and save our changes. Next, click the Visit Discover page button to explore the various AI tools available. On this page, we'll find MFlux Web UI, which is the web-based interface for MFlux. Click on it to access its download page. On the download page, you'll see a big download button. Click on it to initiate the download process and then click Install to begin the initial installation process. Once that's done, you'll see a page with an Install button on the left. We click on it and wait for the entire installation process to finish. The installation process will take some time to complete as all models and extensions need to be downloaded. Please be patient during this step. It's a crucial part of getting MFlux up and running smoothly. Finally, after installation completes, click the pop-out button to open the MFlux UI in your default browser. You're now ready to start exploring the MFlux interface. As you can see, everything worked as expected in our demonstration because we had Alama already installed and Docker running in the background. However, if you haven't installed Alama yet, please refer to the link in the description below and follow the installation guide to get started. Now that we have MFlux set up, let's test MFlux by entering a prompt. For example, I'll type a woman in a golden dress on a runway into the input field. With default settings, I'll click the Generate button. So if you are worried that this is taking too long, don't worry. Please note that this process might take some time, especially since it's the first time running it. Extra models for Flux Schnell and VAE files and other models and extensions are been downloaded, so be patient. The first run may take a bit longer due to model downloads, but subsequent runs will be much faster once the models have been cached. After all the models are downloaded, just wait a few seconds and the image will be generated. And here, our generated portrait image. Now, let's try running the same prompt again, but this time using Enhance Prompt with a llama. And then we can change the image format from portrait to landscape. Now, we click the Generate Image button. As you can see, the quality of the generated image has improved significantly thanks to the prompt enhancement. Now let's try to use a LoRa. First, we need to download the LoRa file from Hugging Face. I will search for Realism LoRa and download the file into our designated LoRa folder. Please navigate to the LoRa folder path and then proceed with downloading the file. Once you've downloaded the file, move it to the LoRa folder and rename it to Flux Realism LoRa. To proceed, we'll need to restart the MFlux UI to ensure our LoRa file is accessible. Next, I'll paste a mid-journey prompt here and click Enhance Prompt with Olama. 
For this LoRa to function, we'll be using the Flux Dev model. So I will change to Model to Dev 4-bit and select our LoRa file and click Generate Image. Since we are using a new model, it will have to download the Dev model again. So I will suggest that you use the Dev model from the start as the default, so you don't have to wait for downloading each model. After all the Flux Dev models are downloaded, you will see the image generated. As you can see, Flux works on Mac, and you can use Flux Loris and ControlNet to improve the image quality. I have generated more images. Let me show you the images. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video.